So Jeff did the Survivor last week. Right. Did you, how did you do? Because we don't know. Well, nobody lost, right? I mean, like, every, I'm thinking about all the teams last week. Like Green Bay pulled it out the last second. Baltimore won on Thursday night. Houston won easily. There was, I mean, there was no death in Survivor. Yeah. I, I, I by the skin of my teeth, survive with Atlanta. <laughs> right. Atlanta. Oh, that was ugly. You know, they had a Hail Mary. If you watched the end of that game, they had a Hail Mary to get from, like, their own 15-yard line to midfield. It was totally lucky. And then that set up the final field goal. I could have. I was, yeah. I was hanging my head. Right. So you sad. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> well, damn. Yeah. yeah. So who do you like this week? You like the Giants in Cleveland? I like the Giants for my number two, I think. Um, you know, the Giants-Philly game was just, I, I can't even talk about that. I'm so angry oh, about God, that I game. I keep forgetting sometimes it's a homer. Your, yeah, your team. But, yeah, but like that was just so horrendous. But the Giants were good. They crushed Carolina in Carolina. That game in Philly, I mean, it was 50-50, but I do think they were at least equal, if not the better team. And then, you know, I, I, I like them, but I don't like them. They're probably my number two, and I still have to look at the distribution of the picks. I think they're the most popular pick right now. Uh. But um, a lot of people are in restart pools because pools ended so early <laughs> that you can't. You got to kind of throw that data away because it's mixed between two different kinds of pools. Uh. But if you're in a pool from the start of the season, I think the Giants are the most popular pick, um, in which case I would probably make them my number two choice. But don't you think a lot of people have already taken the Giants? Some people have. There weren't. There was no hugely obvious time to take the Giants. That's actually, well, a lot of survivors did because the week that the Patriots lost, a lot of people took the Giants. That's when I took the Giants. Right. So a yeah. lot of people actually who are still alive have <laughs> yeah. used the Giants. The people who died don't matter. They're not in your pool anymore. Yeah. So um, yeah, but but they're still my number two. I, the distribution's kind of tricky at this point, but I, they're my number two in terms of just flat out chance to win. They're my second favorite. Team. Who's your number one? Houston? No, the Niners. Oh, at Buffalo. Yeah, you know, Buffalo. I, look, they went into New England. I mean, New England went to Buffalo. They were up twenty-one-seven. Buffalo. I thought, oh great, I'm getting Buffalo. I actually had Buffalo plus four at home. I was very excited about that. Oh. And then it just the wheels came off. And this is just like do you remember that game last year when Buffalo was up twenty-one nothing. Over New England in like the first quarter, and New England won forty-nine to twenty-one. They scored yeah, seven exact touchdowns. Same thing. It was the same exact thing. Yeah. It's like Tom Brady has trouble solving that offense, and then once he solves it, he solves the living shit out of it. <laughs> he just goes down the field. Man, like, people f from a fantasy perspective, people were Bum. all of a sudden Brady. You know, if you were playing against Brady, you all of a sudden you're like, and eh, it's over. Well, I just said a little aside. <laughs> Brady threw a touchdown up fourteen with four minutes left. Okay. That's the Brady I drafted. <laughs> yeah. The one that threw the touchdown up 14 with four minutes up. Where has he been? Okay, but back anyway, to Survivor. Yes. The Bills look like a soft team. They really can't stop. They run 200 yard rushers. Uh, you know, the Bills offense is pretty good, but they're going into San Francisco against a very tough defense. And I just see San Francisco running the ball down their throats, stopping their running game. And then Fitzpatrick's gonna be out there throwing the interceptions on the road. I like San Francisco as my top pick, um, even over the Giants. And then Green Bay. Green Bay is in Indy, okay? And, like, I mean, look at Green Bay. I mean, they're, everyone's like, oh, Aaron Rodgers, they're going to be so pissed after that Seattle, uh, you know, that, yeah. that, that got screwed I by. I said that. I right, thought that. Right. They're going to be like, oh, my God, they're going to be so mad about that. They were so mad that they beat an 0-4 team, or at least an 0-3 team, by, by one point at home. Oh and, and that team that they beat lost to the Chiefs, lost to who? The Redskins. And they lost to the Panthers. So it's not like the Saints yeah. have been beaten by the best teams in the league. And so the Packers <laughs> barely beat them at home. So clearly that sort of motivational stuff is just junk. Anyway, totally. so I, I, they're I think playing Indy. they should win that game. But I just think looking at the Packers' body of work, they're just not really an elite team. And Indy hasn't been bad and is in Indy. That's my number four out of those four choices. We, we, we didn't talk about one. Are they Houston Jets? Yeah, Houston Jets. I, that's my number three. I, I, look, I think Houston may be the best team in the NFL. They're up, up there with the Niners and the Patriots and maybe the Giants. Yeah. Um, but uh, people are going to think I'm a homer for my two and two Giants. But if you look at the game, they lost again. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> uh, but, but the Texans are a very, very balanced team. But just going on the road, even though the Jets look so weak against the Niners, going on the road is tough um, for anybody. And the Jets, I think they'll play a better game. They're a little bit of a desperate animal right now after the embarrassment last week. So... They're my number three, and number four is the uh, Packers in Indy. Awesome. Looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is Rotowire TV.